Hello, welcome to a new section of this course, Data Creation and Editing. In the previous section, we used QGIS to view spatial data from various different data sources, such as files, databases, and web services, in order to create our first map. In this section, we'll create some new vector layers and explain how to select features and take measurements. We'll then continue with editing feature geometries and attributes. After that, we'll reproject vector and raster data and convert them between different file formats. We'll also discuss how to join data from text files and spreadsheets to our spatial data and how to use temporary scratch layers for quick editing work. Moreover, we'll take a look at common geometry topology issues and how to detect and fix them before we end this section on how to add data to spatial databases. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with creating new vector layers. In this video, we'll learn to create a new layer from scratch. QGIS offers a wide range of functionalities to create different layers. The new menu under Layer lists the functions needed to create new shapefile and spatial light layers, but we can also create new database tables using the DB Manager plugin. The interfaces differ slightly in order to accommodate the features supported by each format. Let's create some new shapefiles to see how it works. You can access New Shape File Layer by going to Layer and then to Create Layer and selecting the New Shape File Layer option. Or you can do this by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus N. Now the New Vector Layer dialog will open with options for different geometry types, CRS and attributes. Creating a new shape file is really fast because all the mandatory fields already have default values. By default, the tool will create a new point layer in WGS 84 EPSG 4326 CRS and one integer field called ID. Now we have everything at the default values, we can simply click on OK and specify a file name. Let's say the file name as point. Click on Save. You can see here that this has created a new shape file and the new point layer appears in the layer list. Next, we also create one line and one polygon layer. Let's again go to the Layer menu and select Create Layer and click on New Shape File Layer. Now, we name this file as Line and save it. Similarly, let's create a polygon shape file. Let's go back to the New Shape File and choose the Select button for Polygon. We'll add some extra fields to these layers. Besides integer fields, that is for whole numbers only, Shapefiles also support strings for text, decimal numbers, which are also referred to as real, and dates. So, to add a field, we only need to insert a name, select a type and width, and click on Add to Fields list. Let's give the name as Val, the type as decimal number, length 3, and precision as 1. An important thing to note here is, for decimal numbers, we also have to define the precision value, which determines the number of digits after the comma. A length value of 3 with a precision value of 1 will allow a value range from minus 99.9 .9 to plus 99.9. .9. Now, add this to the field list. Let's again do this for text data with the length 10 and add this to the field list. If you want to remove a field, you can simply click on Remove Field and it will be deleted from your list. Let's add one more with the length 80 and add this to the field list. Let's click on OK. Now save the shapefile with the name Polygon. You can now see that the Polygon shapefile has been added to the Layers panel. All the new layers are empty so far, but we'll create some features now. If we want to add features to a layer, we first have to enable editing for that particular layer. Editing can be turned on and off by one of the two ways, which I'm about to show you next. First of all, you can go to Layers, and then to Toggle Editing. Once you click on it, the editing gets toggled. Or you can even click on the Toggle Editing button in the Digitizing toolbar. You'll notice that the Layers icon in the layer list changes to reflect whether editing is on or off. When we turn on editing for a layer, QGIS automatically enables the digitizing tools suitable for the layer's geometry type. Now we can use the Add Feature tool in the Editing toolbar to create new features. To place a point, we can simply click on the map. So we place points on the map for the polygon. 
Now right click with your mouse. We're now prompted to fill in the attribute form, so we give the ID as 1, the value as 12.8 and name it as first. Once we click on OK, the new feature is created. As with points, we can create new lines and polygons by placing nodes on the map. To finish a line or a polygon, we simply right click on the map, create some features in each layer and then save your changes. We can reuse these test layers in upcoming videos, so save these changes. Go to Menu and click on Save. We've saved it as polygon.shp. Thus it prompts that the file exists. You can note that new features and feature edits are saved permanently only after we've clicked on the Save Layer Edits button in the Digitizing Toolbar, or once we've finished editing and confirmed that we want to save the changes. In this video we've learned to create new vector layers.